Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new and today we are doing our eco lifestyle Let's play. It's been a bit since I have filmed I uploaded like every day last week and then this week was like super busy a few days ago was moving day So yeah, we're officially done with the apartment moving out and everything. I'm not gonna go back anymore I don't have it anymore. It feels good to have that done for sure um, but school starts in a few days, so I'm gonna have that on my plate, which is just amazing, isn't it? But yeah, guys, I hope you're excited for today's episode. Uh, we are well on our way to 100k. We reached 97,000 the other day, so I'm so excited. We're just like getting there inch by inch slowly but surely <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet it would mean the world to me if you could help me get to 100k like you have no idea and once i get there i'll do a few giveaways for you guys of course and i do want to do something else special as well i just haven't decided yet <laughs> also i um updated my video description so in every video i will have all of my gear my filming gear my streaming gear linked in the description and I will also have my favorite CC creators also linked in the description. I updated that list. I had a few before and I added a few more. So if you guys want to know like where I get most of my CC, it's in the description. I get a lot of messages on Instagram and stuff about like who my favorite CC creators are and all that. So yeah, just make sure you check the description for like links and all that good stuff. I do have a Celsius today. We are back on the sparkling watermelon grind and I am very, very excited because I haven't had a sparkling watermelon one in a minute. And it's just, just as good. Mm. I got a 12 pack of this and I got a 12 pack of the peach vibe. Cause that's limited edition and I don't know when it's gonna go away and I don't want it to go away and I'm really, really sad and scared. <laughs> but yeah, uh, enough about me. In today's episode, I'm hoping to Go visit Tina because a lot of you guys mentioned that she was pregnant in the last episode and I didn't even notice. So yeah, we're gonna go have a look at that. I also want to switch control to Tony, our friend, just to kind of see what the heck's going on with him, why he doesn't want to be with anybody. So we're gonna check that out. We're gonna check out Lena because she was pregnant and she had a baby. We're gonna take out or take the maternity pics for Tony. And a lot of you guys said that you wanted a few more episodes of this, so we're just gonna keep going for the time being. Um, one of you guys had an idea to um, stop the Let's Play once you've made a ju made juice out of like every fruit, every, was it every plant in the game? I don't know, but I think I'm gonna do every fruit because every plant would be kind of hard. So we're gonna try and get every fruit in the game and make juice from that. Cause that's what I originally wanted to do in this LP. So we can still, tr try for that <laughs> and then um we need to have a toddler play date at some point so if T tina had a kid and lena um i don't know maybe we can we can try out the the uh, toddler event because i've never done it before so yeah that's what's on the agenda today i hope you guys are excited i love you so much let's go all right guys here we are back on the eco lot this is some weird weather isn't it look at the lighting Freezing. Oh, sun snow. Why have I never seen that in The Sims before? That's pretty amazing. But yeah, here we are. We are back in business. Um, oh yeah, I asked you guys how you felt about me selling the store. And most of you guys said yes. I actually didn't see any comment at all that was opposed to selling the store. <laughs> so we're going to do that today too. Um, Miss Tony here is uh, quite pregnant. I'm excited to do this uh, maternity shoot, and it looks like our trees are ready to be um, super sold. So let's do it. Super sell. A super sell. These ones, not quite. No, yes. Okay, yeah, no. Okay, yeah, and I uh, fixed George. You guys said that all I needed to do was shift click him and then reset object. So I did that. Let's go ahead and sell these kombucha six packs that we have. Just. Just to get them get them out of here before they go bad and then we'll do the maternity shoot oh yeah i totally i freaking forgot i redid the house i didn't actually redo it i just like i did the kids room which i'm really excited to show you they're going to be sharing for the time being but i don't think mari minds i redid the master bedroom a little bit and that's it so let's have a look i'm excited Okay, so heading in, it's pretty much the same. 
Um, I just put the dog bed over here in this corner. And I added a fan here. <laughs> the freaking icicles are coming in the house. What the? Anyway, oh, hi! Hi, little pebble. Uh, did I change anything out here? I don't think I did. So let's just go straight into the kids' room then. I'm so excited to show you. It's one of my favorite kid rooms ever. Isn't it cute? Oops, I don't know why that's there, the tablet, but... Oh, I just love this so much. I love the color palette. The Eco Lifestyle items, their color palette is just so good. It's so good. But yeah, here's Mari's bed. Um, and then here's the new babe's bed. Oh, I hope it's a girl. I'm probably gonna make Tony eat some strawberries just because I want her to have a girl so bad. <laughs> this is the dollhouse from Eco. Mm. Oh, yeah. I made this little uh, gaming corner for her since Mari's a natural gamer. I thought, all right, let's get her a TV. Let's get her a little console here. This is a console. It's just sized down. Um, so she can have she can have her little like area over here. It's kind of enclosed, which is nice where she can just hang out play some games <laughs> and then Over here is just like a little craft corner um, And yes, let's head up to the master bedroom so I can show you the changes that I made there Okay, I went with a gray theme for their bedroom um, they've got a picture of themselves, just a butt. I need to change the frame colors there, but yeah, this is it. I just added a few things because it was looking real bare. I put the candle machine and the box out here, and then the candle machine, same. And then I put a fabricator over here because you guys said that you wanted to see more fabrication stuff. I actually, did I put it backwards? I think I might have. <laughs> I probably should have tested it first. Oh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the kids' bedroom. Hi, little nugget. Hi, baby. Mari, come. And um, I think she should definitely be... Her and the dog should be besties. I think that would be really cute. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, my. Okay, someone buy something. Thank you, $12,000 for that six-pack. Thank you, thank you, 3000 for that one. All right, all good. I don't... Thing. Is there anything left in here? Nope. Okay, cool. All right. So, oh, should we go over there? Let's head over to the venue real quick and make sure that there's nothing there that uh, we don't want to sell. I got this new wig today. It actually came in the mail right before I started filming. It's so nice. I love the color. It's like peach. It's really cool. Um, I also have like my most used wigs linked in my description too. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, I, I haven't linked this one yet, but I, I'll probably do it later. Um, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see what's around here. There's just some fruit. All right, let's um, let's put these in the inventory. Some plants that we can bring home. Some of you guys wanted me to make it like a, um, a community lot or like a cafe or something like that, but I just, I just don't want, I just don't want to own a business. It's so hard. Like I had no motivation to come here and like sell stuff. So yeah, we just go and get rid of it. So say goodbye to the business. Oh, now that we're here, I miss it. <laughs> Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So I don't know how to sell a business. Oh, sell this store. Upon confirmation, your retail funds and the lot value will be deposited into your household funds. If if your retail funds are in the negative, money will be deducted. The household will earn seventy six thousand dollars. Holy crap! Okay. Goodbye, store. You were fun while it lasted. So since we are in world mode or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> maybe we should go visit Tony and see what his deal is. So I placed this industrial house and I just moved him into it because he strikes me as a very industrial guy. He's a mixologist. He, I just, when I think of him in my head, I just think of him as this like, wealthy bachelor 
um, who's into like wine and like craft beer and uh, yeah, that type of stuff. So I placed him in this house. I also gave him the mixologist career because even though he was a bartender when we met him, the game didn't give him the mixologist career. So I gave him that and I cheated him to the top. So he is a, what was it again? Oh yeah, a celebrity mixologist, which I, which I think is pretty cool. I found this home on the gallery. It was, it's really, really cool. Like I am absolutely obsessed. It's perfect for a dude. I think what I did was I searched industrial home. Ah, here it is. Okay, okay. It's just called Industrial Home by White Ang Angle Star 99. One bedroom, two bathroom, nice two story, kitchen's upstairs, living room's upstairs. Then you go down, we got a bedroom, we got like a multi-purpose room, and out here we've got like a little area for grilling and bartendering, <laughs> making drinks. So yeah, I didn't look at anything other than his career stuff, so let's, let's have a look, okay? What do you have to do? Grill a hamburger? Alright, you do that. So, his aspiration is serial romantic. I didn't even freaking notice that before, but that kind of makes sense as to why he wouldn't want to uh, settle down with someone. What are you making? Practice making drinks? Pretty sure I maxed your mixology skill. Why do you need to practice? <laughs> Let me see what kind of drinks he can make though, because I don't think I've ever had a sim with max mixology. Oh wait, no, Ren does. Duh. Beetlejuice. Oh my god, I need to make that. That is so cool. Next, stop maxing mixology for Tony. Oh my god, that's oh. rad. Okay, um, let's have a look at his, uh, ooh. Let's have a look at his relationships then. Wow. Oh, it's, oh, it's okay. It's okay, you like industrial. <laughs> So he has no no romance with Talia, oh, no God, romance Wessel. with Bria. They're just friends. Um, wow, he doesn't have any romance with anybody. Okay, what are your traits, my boy? I feel like we already know this. <gasps> Alluring, chopstick, savvy, and neat. He also has... From completing the angling ace aspiration? Holy cannoli. That's pretty crazy. Okay, his personality type, ISFJ. Very dedicated, blah, 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 cooking, gardening. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, and he has a physics degree? What the? This guy is just off the charts. He's so cool. Aw, Tony. Thanks, girl. Physics. I was gonna say that's probably why he's so good at mixology, but no, that doesn't make any sense. It would have to be a chemistry degree. Wow, he's got layers to him, you guys. Definitely got layers. Five handiness, five rocket science, probably from that physics degree, I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know anything about physics. I thought that maybe he would have romance with someone in his relationships that we just, like, didn't know about, but... Yeah, it's pretty boring over here, you guys. It is. Oh, but look who showed up! Bria. Very interesting. Just go away. Invite in. Yes, yes, yes. Come on in. I kind of love them together, but maybe Tony's just really not interested in settling down. <sighs> I mean, I guess that makes sense if you're a serial romantic, right? Well, I guess I'm not gonna force it anymore. He's just one of our friends. I'm gonna let him do whatever it is that he wants to do. I'm not gonna force anything. But honestly, I love him. I love his vibe. I just... I love all the layers. I do. Anyway, who- oh yeah, let's go over to the Tinker residence because I need to see who Tina's baby daddy is because I'm a little bit confused about that, but I was thinking. So we know that Olive is Yasmin's blood daughter. Oh yeah, and this is the new home. Oh no, honey. What, what is this hair? Oh, you've got ribbons on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, huh. 
Um, anyway, yeah, this is the new home that I chose. I asked you guys to build me a new mansion, new house for the Tinker family. Okay, so this is the one that I picked. It is by Dream Eater 991997 if you guys want to download it. My good friend Zach. Um, so yeah, let's head inside. I'll give you guys a little tour of it because why not? It's really, really, really cute and I think it suits them very well. Hello, Tina, can you please change? You're really throwing me off. <laughs> and this is this living room though. Oh my gosh, it's just it's a vibe. The, oh my god, with the snow. I love this wall color too. It's just good. Lovely little half wall here. Little dining area. Oh, this is so good. Oh, there is CC. Just kidding, but if you download all the Peacemaker Sims and Ravishine stuff, then you'll have it. <laughs> uh, okay, let's head into the kitchen here. Oh yeah, this is all CC as well. Alright, let's head upstairs. There used to be a dollhouse here, but I uh, switched it out for a candle making machine because Olive was- Olive- Olive, Olive aged up. <laughs> Hi, baby! Hello! I'm so excited to see your, who your father is. Um, Olive's room, and then, let's see, I think I changed a bit in here. I think I changed the bed, because she aged up. Something. I don't remember. Uh, right, the fabricator room. Love the flag there. Uh, this is the master bedroom. This is really, really cute. I love the colors. Um, and the snow with these windows, honestly, is a whole vibe. Then there's a balcony out here. Super cute. Yeah, I think that's it guys. That is it. Oh, oh, okay. Tina had a boy oh, Interesting Very interesting. Okay, let's feed the baby Let's look at your relationships here so Yasmin your spouse and your soulmate Olive your friend Perhaps we should adopt as care dependent? Or do we, oh, I think we just switch her to mother and create a sim. Okay, well, you know what? I'm dying to see who this kid's freaking father is. Like, son, okay, mm, but she, whoa, what? Casey and Lena are, Married? What the heck? Holy cannoli. When did that happen? So much is going on that I just don't know about. Maybe Lena's baby is, is Casey's then. Um, um, you know, my game did this in my Twitch series as well. Who was it though? Oh, if you guys watch my Twitch series, Addison, the one who had the baby with Caleb, the alcoholic, she had another baby. I noticed that when I was just like messing with things. So I went in and I checked to see who the the mom was. No, who the dad was. And the the dad was a mom. So it didn't register that the baby had a father. It only registered that it had two moms. You guys remember Christy Stigworth from my legacy challenge? It was her. She was the other mom. And I was I'm just I was really confused. And then here we have another situation where it's two moms. I mean, it makes sense. Um, like if maybe one of them got artificially inseminated, but I just wish we knew who the actual father was, like who supplied the goods, you know? <laughs> so yeah, very cool. Well, let's go into, um, Shut up. Let's go into create a sim and list Tina as Olive's other mother, just to make it official. Okay, I think that's quite enough uh, with- Oh, no, 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 no! One more thing I want to do before we go back to the, the uh, Nicholas household. I want to check out Lena, just to see who the baby dad is. Uh, and I'm, yeah, I hope it's Casey, because that would be really cute. Like, I made Lena and I made Casey. Or no, Lena was one of your guys' sims, but I gave her a makeover and then I made Casey and I moved them in together as roommates. And I think it's cute now that they're married. I really didn't expect that to happen because when we looked in MC Command Center last time Lena was over, she had a female partner. So, all right, let's have a look. Let's see. Pause. 
Okay, Lena. Soulmates and spouse with Casey. Quite cute. You hate Liliana. You hate Freddy. Good friend. Your daughter's name is Paris. That's actually really cute. Wait. What? She's also soulmates with Chris. Dude! That's the girl who had the baby with freaking Addison in my Twitch series! I swear, if that's the fr- If that's the mom- You're joking! Again this happened- Oh my- What are the chances of that? Mother- Mother. This is the girl from my Twitch series. The first- th the. F oh my god. What the heck? This game. Those are two totally different save files. Okay, I'm tripping. So, the baby that Lena had, she had it with another woman. And it was Christy. The same situation. I- Ay, ay, ay. Holy cannoli. This game's gonna give me a stroke. So, I don't know who the father is. <laughs> I guess Casey can, like, adopt her? Father. Adopted father, of course. Okay. It still lists Christy as mother, it still lists Lena as mother, and it lists Casey as father. Oh man, this game, guys. This game. Definitely gonna have some toddler playdates with that toddler, though, once Tony has her babe. Excited for that. So let's go back to the house. Let's do the maternity shoot. I already picked an outfit for Tony to wear in the shoot. I'm thinking we should go somewhere like Strangerville again, just because I know that it's gonna be not snowing there. Oh, maybe we can go to Oasis Springs or I don't know, somewhere that's not here because it's very, very cold and, and, and blustery. Freddie, what are you doing up here? Oh, he's actually watching the TV. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna work, but here we are. All right, go to sleep as well. What's wrong with you, love? Oh, unpleasant surroundings. The dumpster's probably nasty again. Okay, it's too cold. Please come inside. Let's have a quick meal. Uh, let's have some edamame. We can say that Tony grew it. Whatever. <laughs> Why are you going that way? Ugh, so much more complicated. There you go, darling. Some edamame before bed. Aww. Maxie's asleep in here. What a good bean. All right, fantastic. Off to bed you go in your new bedroom. I love it. I love it in here. It looks so cozy. Okay, it looks like Tony's up. Let's get her to grab some leftovers. Please stop going that way. What the heck is wrong with our front door? Maxie, baby, come here, love. Hey. Little pepperoni. She's so cute. Okie dokie, it looks alike. Ooh, New Year's Eve, exciting. Looks like we've got some plans to- Whoa, Freddy just freaking appeared. That kind of scared me. I think I'm gonna get her to eat some strawberries because I really want her to have a girl. So I'm gonna get her to eat a few straws. And uh, hopefully, hopefully that's enough to um, influence the gender, but we'll see. Gonna supercell everything around here. 54,000, my goodness. Oh, George, he's at it again. You okay? Here, have some food. All right, so do we have, I'm pretty sure we have a camera and a, yeah, we do. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and travel. Let's go to, oh, we could go to Solani. I did this in my Twitch stream. And it went so badly. <laughs> we didn't- I didn't have, like, a proper camera. Oh yeah, this place is beautiful. Would you look at that? Look at this area up here. This is perfect. Alright. Um, what was I gonna say, though? Oh yeah, it just went wrong. We didn't have a good camera. We went to Strangerville, and both of the Sims were so tired, and just, like, passing out, and peeing themselves, and yeah, it was just- it was not fun. So, stop. I'm gonna go ahead and turn autonomy off. Um, and then let's get Tony into her maternity outfit. I hope that you guys like what I chose. Uh, yeah, it was this. So I originally wanted to go for white. 
But uh, Tony has always dressed in like really bright colors and like funky patterns. So I thought this was more, more her. And I also downloaded a maternity pose pack. This is a big deal for me because I've never, I've never used pose packs before. Hopefully I can do it without the statue thing though, because she, or I can't build in this area, but let's see. Let's see what's good. Pose by pack, pregnancy, let's all in one. Does that mean she'll like cycle through them? Okay, let's see. <gasps> oh, look at her. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, Freddy, let's bust out this camera. Take photo. Gosh, please work. Okay, okay. <gasps> you guys! Oh my gosh. This is actually working. I don't know if Solani was the best choice. It seems a little too tropical for this family. I'm wondering if you guys agree, but let, let's, let's, um... Let's go see what else there is. Oh my gosh, look at this little area over here. Why is Strangerville just like so gorgeous? It's very underrated, isn't it? Okay, I think this is definitely more Tony. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but I love this. This one is so cute. Aww. Oh my god, so cute. I think this is the one. This is definitely gonna be my favorite. Okie dokie, I think we got some good ones. I really, really like this location. Super cute, but uh, she's feeling depressed. My body, it's terrible what happened to Tony's figure. She, she did not enjoy having this maternity shoot at all. I think it just made her aware of how pregnant she actually is. <laughs> she's still so pretty though. Oh, hey there, lady. How you doing? Don't mind us. We're just waddling by. All right, let's see what Mari's up to. Oh, yeah, it's New Year's Eve. I wonder, what should we do tonight, if anything? Should we just have some people over? Man, I knew this was gonna happen. All of the Sims would just watch TV because I put a freaking TV in here. Uh, oh, well. It is what it is. She's a natural gamer. She needs herself a little, little gaming area. I would be cruel to uh, deprive her of that. At least it's uh, increasing her motor skill. Um, Can I give them your number? Sure. Not for a date though, just to like hang out maybe. Fred, why don't you come over here and work on your fishing skill a little bit. Tony's just in here watching her play video games mood. Ooh! A beta! Good job, Fred. Wow, look at that controller. It's massive! What is that? A freaking Switch? A Wii U controller? How cute is she, though? Those little shoes! Hey, Tony, it's Lena. Do you want to hang out tonight? Let's see what she's- Uh, the Bluffs, huh? New Year's Eve at the Bluffs? I guess. I don't see why not. Let's accept and we'll bring Freddy. We'll bring... Tony probably won't stay for long. Uh, who else? Bria, Jimena, Persephone, you know, the gang. All right. Oh, we're going now? Okay. It said tonight. I don't really understand that. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we're just like... This is such a random place to hang out. But okay, I guess we can just like catch up. Invite to feel baby. Um, throw New Year's Eve confetti. Oh, Tony. Can you um put on something different? I really hate this outfit. <laughs> Freddy, I would like you to increase your relationship with him too no one showed up this is so boring we're probably just gonna go back home to be honest oh my god they have little cocktails such a random spot for this but i'm here for it uh -huh. 
Tony, you shouldn't be drinking. Please tell me that's freaking virgin, dude. Oh god, it's probably not. She probably has a freaking drunk moodlet, doesn't she? Being considerate, people person. Nothing about being drunk as of yet, so that's good. Yay, they're getting to know each other a little bit better. Good, Svanza indeed. He's like, I made these drinks, mixed them up at home, put them in a little, a little, uh, thermos, brought them out here so we can have drinks on this cloudy day. Drinks in a view, guys, drinks in a view. He's a very outdoorsy person, so <laughs> he's probably living for this. What the heck is this? Oh, travel back home. I thought that was something cool. Let me see if there's any fruits out here, actually. Oh, we can have a bonfire. That sounds fun. Come on, light it. Go here together. Oh god, she's about to pee herself. Go to the bathroom, darling. You know that there's a bush here, isn't there? No, there's no bush here. How are you supposed to pee? There you go, fertilize. Oh crap, she just peed herself and she's feeling sick. <gasps> it's cause- oh no, she did drink. You guys, that's so bad. That's so bad. Why is he running so fast? Y'all ever seen a sim run this fast before? Except for when there's a fire? What- What are you doing? Oh, okay, he's using the far bush. <gasps> he just threw up in it! Oh my god, now he's pissed. He's like, what the heck did it, what was in those drinks? <laughs> oh god, okay, let's cancel the event, let's head home. Can we just pretend that, that Tony had virgin drinks and she's just feeling sick because of the pregnancy? Okay, back home we are. My darling, please, take a bath with soaks. Let's do, let's do a muscle relaxing one. Fred, keep working on your fishing. Mari, she's watching more TV. Can you please still do something like, you know, good with your time? Freddy just caught a cow plant berry. That's what's up. George, you hungry at all? We haven't like fed you in quite some time. Aww. Friends forever, huh? So very cute. What else can we do? Give treat, pretty much it. There's like nothing that we can do with the puppies, so um, this puppy needs to age up. <laughs> um, Fred? Oh, he's caught a bunch of fish. What can we do with them? Mount? I mean, yeah, let's mount it. What about these? Great, great, excellent. Okay, let's mount that one. We got a trout we can mount and a beta. Perfect. Oh yeah, let's put up the maternity pictures as well. But where? Where do you hang up maternity pictures in a house like this? Seriously though. <laughs> where? I guess we could put a few right here next to the door. Let's see how that would look. Freddy's catching all kinds of stuff. Proud of him. Not gonna lie, Freddy kind of sucks at photography. <laughs> Holy cannoli. Okay, yeah. I think these are gonna be the four best ones. I'm thinking maybe we put up these two. So let's add a light wood frame and light wood frame. All right, there we go. We got some photos in the house. That's what's up. Oh yeah, let's go upstairs and change the frame color up here too. Maybe white. This one. Let's do light wood. Okay, yeah, we need more photos for up here too. Oh, maybe Freddy can mount his fish here. I need to take down the Christmas decorations. All right, so let's go ahead and take down decorations. Um, and yeah, we'll mount all of his fishies up here by the frogs, by the bugs. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. I wonder. Oh, hey, Tony. What's up, dude? Can we, if we're downstairs. Oh my god, he just farted again. What is this dude's issue? Oh yeah, you could see the, you could see the fish even from the first story. That's really cool. 
I like that a lot. Fred, use the bathroom. Did Tony leave? He just he farted in our house and then left. That's not a vibe. You done with your bath, Tony? Why don't you come to bed now? Oh, there he is. I wanna- we could fish with him! What a freaking bro activity, am I right? Cute, just a couple of dudes. This is, um, actually what- It looks- are you drunk? Oh, he's drunk. Oh, honey! Did you just get off work? Have some drinks with some celebs! Alright, we'll see you later. Anyway... <laughs> This is exactly what I had in mind, like, um, when we first met Tony, that Freddie and Tony were friends. Remember when we went camping and I said that they both had, like, fishing backgrounds and that's how they knew each other? It's all working out. Yes, it is. New Year's Eve was awful. I totally forgot it was New Year's. <laughs> she got drunk pretty, pretty, pretty early in the day. Oh, no, she didn't. I'm sorry. She had vir virgin. Virgin drinks. Yes. Hey, we can put these My Sims trophies in the kids' room. There we go. Putting them to use. We need to use all this dye as well. <laughs> go on adventure together? Interested in exploring? Travel with your dog and see what you find. For- Whoa! That's what's up, dude. 41,000 from that sh that 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 aspiration thing. Since Tony completed the fabulously wealthy aspiration, she's got- the shrewd- wow, look at all these- wow, look at all these trades. The shrewd, um, reward trait. Maxi is an adventure- oh my gosh, how cool is this? I never knew you could do this. Okay, our dog is adventurous. There's just so much going on right now, I'm sorry. Maxi is adventurous. Watch out, they might return from a night out on the town with more than they had before. Does that mean puppies or something? Like, what are they insinuating? It's time for an adventure. Maxi sniffs the air. Picking up three distinct paths. Distracted by scents in all directions, Maxi needs some help deciding which way should Freddy take them. The town square, the lighthouse, or Whiskerman's Wharf. Um, let's go to the lighthouse. Okay, Maxi takes off the path. Looks like it's going to be to the old Brunson lighthouse. There are rumors around the town of malicious ghost dog that haunts the bay. Old Lady Crabtree says he can be found late at night howling. From the top of the tower. I'm sure it's just superstition. Ooh, it's 3 a.m. too. Onward. Ooh! The two enter the Light, ha light Information Center and Gift Shop where an elderly white-haired man is selling postcards. He sees them and brights up. The top of the lighthouse is always open for the best views of the bay, but I'm about to go on break. Next time, I'll take you through and teach you some interesting history. With that, he shoes them out where Freddy looks up at the lighthouse once more before heading home. No! I wanted something fun to happen. Bummer, we're gonna have to do that again because that was pretty cool. How's your mood? Quite hungry. Okay, well, let's get some leftovers and then we can go on another adventure with Maxie. There you go. Let's go, let's go. Give some food. Is there like a- oh, go on adventure together. Yes! How exciting! Off they go. Oh, Tony's practicing her mixology <laughs> skill? Good for you. Okay. Takes off to the lighthouse, they step into the gift shop, but the old man isn't there. The two wait, blah blah blah, Maxie pauses at the door. Should the pair explore on their own? Ooh, sneak through the private door. Freddy tries the door handle, which turns easily, and the two tumble through. After their- no! After their eyes adjust to the darkness, they see small storage area with boxes. At the end of the room is a rickety-looking, roped-off stairway. Freddy notices a white tablecloth in a nearby storage box and slips it on. Look, I'm a ghost, he shouts, as Maxie starts barking at something behind Freddy. <laughs> Can we just appreciate that he's, like, making jokes to the dog? Freddy can't see much with the tablecloth. He pulls it off to see a small apparition dart up the stairs. Maxie howls, but the chase is already lost. Probably just a raccoon, Freddy says, and pats Maxie on the head, promising to return to the lighthouse. Well, isn't that fun? Ooh, it's new skill day. That's what's up. So you keep on practicing that. Freddy, come practice your fishing for a bit. Mari, I think. It's time for you to get up, have a shower, and let's see. Whiz kid aspiration? We're probably not going to get that done because we don't have a chess table. But we can work on another skill. 
Maybe your uh, motor skills, since you are a natural gamer, perhaps? What the? Tony decided to come over here and fish as well? <laughs> nah, let's take care of the garden. Uh, let's just supercell everything because we don't need any crops at the moment. Oh, what does she have to do? Practice making drinks? Okay, go ahead. Go right ahead. Uh, you, my love, what's wrong? No one cooks around here, huh? <laughs> There's plenty of leftovers. Let's see what we got. Let's have a veggie burger. Veggie burger. Veggie, veggie burger. What trimester are you in? <gasps> question mark, question mark, question mark. That's what I like to see. You know what? You know what we haven't tried yet? I don't, at least I don't think we have. Let's harvest these lemons and make some lemon juice. I wonder if it will say that it's lemonade. I'm so curious. I don't know if we've done this before. We probably have, I just don't remember. Start fizzing and let's go up to the fabricator as well, see what we can make. Oh my God, we can make a voodoo doll? That's so cool. We've already made that, we've already made that, already made that. Ooh, a desk. Let's do that. Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh, I love her. <laughs> this is what we got from the spring decor. That's actually a really good way to make money. I totally forgot about that. Yay, we did it, we made the desk. Not really sure um, where we're gonna put it, but it's still cool to have. Let's make a light too. Uh, let's do, what is grim dye? Oh my gosh, we can make a dresser as well. Wow, look at all this stuff. Ooh, wow. Ooh, I really wanna make a yellow light. Ooh, a brick, let's do brick. You guys, it's time, it's time, it's time! Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I can't freaking wait. Have baby, join. Let's bring Freddy, it never freaking works, but I think we should bring him anyway. We already decided that we were gonna name the baby Teddy, whether it's a boy or a girl. I think it's a good unisex name, androgynous name. Whatever you want to call it. Here we are. Oh my gosh, no way. London is our doctor. She's like, I have been waiting for this day. Yes, I have. Do you want to hang out tonight? Bro, no. I'm literally having a child. Oh, I forgot to turn autonomy back on. That's why my Sams were just standing there. I'm just so used to it by now that I don't even question it. Hey, look who else is here. Hamena. Hey girl, here we go, here we go, one more time, everybody's feeling fine, here we go now, Insync has got the flow, oh my gosh, look at him freaking out, I love to see it. Oh no, bye bye, see you later. Poor guy. Oh my goodness. Oh, are you coming back? Mood. Oh, oh, it's done. Let me get, let me get a pick. Let me get a pick of this. Here we go. One more time. Everybody's feeling fine. Oh, interesting. Okay, maybe not. There we go. Yes, it's a girl. Ooh, it's a girl. It's a girl. It's a... Is it is a girl? All right, Teddy it is. Oh, little baby girl, Teddy. Just one? Boo! I was secretly hoping for 20 twins. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so, so happy that it's a girl you guys don't even know. All right, let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. So we got Mari, Teddy, Freddy, and Tony. Jeez, how confusing. And we got Tina, and we got the other Tony, and we got Lena, my goodness. Confusion. Okay, where's the babes? Wrong room. I'm just gonna keep the child here for easy access. Okay, now let's go ahead and give that, um, that uh, new 
social event a try. I'm pretty sure it came- yeah, 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 the memorable events mod. So we got a new beach party, we got half birthday party. It's a birthday party, except it's not time to age up yet. Enjoy your birthday with your friends and family, ask them for gifts and even money. Anyways, congrats because you get to stay young for a little longer. Okay, that's pretty dope. We got prom! Oh, yes! Bachelorette party, how fun is that? Field trip, love finder. Eight hours to find that- oh my gosh! That sounds so fun. Hot springs, seasonal party. Oh my gosh, look at all the Santa skating. Romantic date, university party. Meet my partner. You guys, this is dope. If you don't have this new mod by Kawaii Stacy, I haven't even tried it yet, but just based off of this, you gotta go get it. Celebration, vacation, karaoke, toddler play, or no, that's not new. Where's the meet the baby one? Sleepover, cute, shopping spree, romantic, oh my god. Meet the baby, here we go. This is so cool. Okay, meet the baby. All right, so Casey, Lena, <laughs> Here we go again, huh? Briella Buckner? Who the heck you Your relationship bar is 100% full with her. I guess we should invite her. If you're that good of friends. Same with Justin. What in the world? There we go. Can you please get out of your hospital gown? Let's wear... What do we wear for an event like this? Let's do the dress. Hello, everyone. Come on in. This girl... Briella Buckner. Where do we know you from? Okay, well this is the event. Everyone's kind of just standing around. I made a Tony show off the baby to Tina. So let's let's have a look at that. There we go. Cute. So cute. I wish we could- or I wish Tina could bring her own baby. Hey, what you making there? Well, people are here, but they, um- Oh no, Freddy got eaten by the cow plant. <gasps> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm scared. <laughs> Aw, Jimena, you look so cute. I love this outfit. Oh. Why does she do this to everyone? Olive is a young adult now. Ooh. Every part of me wants to tell Tony to get with her, you guys. But I said I wouldn't force it. But oh my gosh, I want to so bad. I'm gonna try this chick. Olive didn't pop up, but she did for some reason. Uh-oh. Who's doing what with the cow plant? Mari, please be careful. Yeah, get your booty to bed. <gasps> no freaking way! No way! Briella sounds like a catch. I'll introduce myself when I see her. This is the first time Tony has ever said yes to dating someone that we said. And it's this just this random chick. Oh my god. Okay, well, guess she needs a makeover now. Oh man, I'm shook. Maybe he likes pink-haired girls. Okay, well that doesn't make sense though, because Brie is pink-haired. <gasps> okay, joke star, mediator, mischievous, and vegetarian. I kind of like those traits. Okay, we're gonna give her pink hair, definitely. Let me just give her a quick makeover. <laughs> All right guys, this is what I have so far. I kept her pink hair because I really liked it and I gave her a different color turquoise eye. And I changed her brows, and I gave her skin detail, and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, she's got some eyeliner on too. So, you guys are probably wondering, Savannah, why are you spending so much time on this Tony guy? Why is he such a important sim to you? And to answer your question, I have no idea. I just feel so invested in him for some reason, and I don't have an explanation for it. Like, do you guys ever just, you ever just get attached to a sim and you just don't know why? Well, if you do, then you understand, because <laughs> that's exactly what I'm going through with Tony, the guy. So, 
this is a big deal for me that he actually agreed to date someone. So let's find you an outfit now. I hope that you guys like her hair and her skin details and all that good huh? stuff. So let's see. She kind of reminds me of Avril Lavigne a little bit. I don't know why, but I just get that vibe when I look at her. I think it's the hair. Avril Lavigne has like some of the straightest hair I've ever seen. <laughs> I wonder if she straightens it. Interesting conversation. So, she's a mediator, which is... Mediator sims have a higher chance at successfully apologizing and can meditate the forums. They can also mend differences with sims they have not been friendly with for a long time. And then she's mischievous and then vegetarian and she wants to become a comedian. I think that's really, really cool. She's also got layers, which I like. Oh, that looks real nice on you, love. Yeah, it really does. So does that. Love this. So very cute. But this color, it matches her hair so nicely. Oh my gosh, look at this. It has little built-in thumb holes. I used to have that all the time on my clothes. I would even cut freaking new thumb holes in my long sleeves. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, I think we're gonna go with this. Really love how the skirt matches her eyes and how the shirt matches her hair. <laughs> It's just the whole mood. And I think docs it is. I'm so excited. Maybe, you know what? You know what probably happened? Since we're here showing off our new child, our two new children actually, Tony was probably like, well, oh my gosh, look. She's so gorgeous. Wow. One of my favorite Sims for sure. He probably was like, well, she had a baby, and they adopted a child. <sighs> There's no chance. There's no chance. What happened to your eyes, dude? So he was like, alright, fine. I guess I better find someone else to settle down with since my dreams of Tony and Tony have been crushed. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think that would be a good story, right? Like, Tony had a freaking baby. And he's probably like, all right, guess that's it. Guess I better move on. Oh, yes, finally! Maxi aged up. Maxi has grown from puppy to adult dog. She can now swim, climb stairs, go for a walk, start learning tricks. If not space, she can now mate. Hooray for Maxi. <gasps> Look at you. You're no longer a little peanut anymore. Aww. Okay, little baby definitely needs a collar, so let's wake her up. Wake up, Maxi. We gotta go get you a collar, baby. Oh my god, she's so cute. She's so cute. I think she's cuter as an adult dog than she was as a puppy, and that. That's rare. Hmm. Yellow, purple, pink. Oh, the pink one is actually really cute. What about this pink one? Yellow? Ah! <gasps> turquoise it goes so good with her color palette Ooh, banana costume oh i think she likes it <laughs> all right no we're just gonna do collar okay Ooh, yibs oh yibs oh yibs Ooh, indeed maxi where are you oh yummy 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 nummy nummy nums nums this is a very long event i think we should probably end it Goodbye, everyone. Oh, hey there, Bella. I've been meaning to give your gravestone to your family. We should probably go do that in this episode, shouldn't we? And then today at school, I'm going to get Mari to make friends. Hopefully she can meet some people. Down we go. Here we go. Little bean. Oh god, you guys, why is this making me so sad? Bella is in our house taking care of the baby. She probably misses her own baby. Okay, we definitely need to take over her gravestone to her house so she can at least see her own child. Alright, come over here. Let's put this in our inventory. Oh boy. Uh, it's fizzy lemon juice. Okay, so it's not lemonade. Well... Tony's lemonade. We can make it lemonade just like that. Let's train Maxie to sit. I feel like that's probably the first thing that dogs learn is to sit. 
Freddy is continuing his training with Maxi, and once that's done, I think I want them to go on another adventure. What are you doing? Water all? Nah, 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 nah. Go on adventure. Oh, good. The child's birthday is tomorrow. Thank goodness. So we can age it up tonight at midnight. That was so fast. Okay, let's see. It's the lighthouse thing again. They noticed the old man once again. They remembered him mentioning that behind the scenes tour, but they also remember the staircase and the ghost or not. Freddy's convinced himself there's a sensible explanation for all of this. Should they take the man up on his offer to show them around the lighthouse or wait for a moment when they can sneak into the lighthouse undisturbed? Hmm. I think we should wait. Let's do that. Wait. Freddy and Maxie wait until the man's gone, then swoop into the shop and hurdle through the door they're not supposed to hurdle through. The two, he the two head up the rickety steps to find an o uh, a door simply marked office. There's no lock. The door opens creakily. Maxie nudges Freddy towards the far wall where on a bulletin board are pinned various articles about the Brindleton wreck and a few pictures of a friendly looking man and his dog in front of the lighthouse. Freddy's reading an article intently when Maxie nearly bowls him over that's when freddy hears someone opening the door the two hide in the shadows just in time as the old man has returned and clatters into the room the old man moving quickly and sounds angry muttering something about a change in the shipping schedule and storms out freddy and maxi wait a good 10 minutes before leaving themselves nervous and suspicious that's it i want something to happen already Ooh, and look it's spring again, so our lot is looking absolutely gorgeous. Just lovely. I say we go again. Feel the love first, though. Ooh, what's this? What'd you bring? <gasps> Yay! Open! Open mysterious box. Whoa. What we got? It's a bird. Okay, I think that's a dog toy. Let's go on another adventure, Maxi. Let's go. Let's go back. What should we do with this gnome? There you go. You can guard our money tree. Good boy. Let's have a look at how many um, fruits we're missing. Honestly, not a lot. That's a flower, that's a flower, that's a flower. I think that's a fruit, that's a fruit, that's a fruit. That one, this one, this, this. There's only a few. I think we can do it. I definitely do. Ooh, Freddy and Maxie arrive at the lighthouse again, hopefully, hoping to ca finally catch the alleged ghost. The private door is locked, so the two wind their way up to the top of the lighthouse. As they approach the top, Maxie calms Freddy, pointing out at the old man leaning on the railing. The two hide behind a crate full of wood, glue, and tablecloths and listen to the man talking to himself. Freddy hears him cry something about his revenge being almost complete. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Suddenly, something rises out of the crate in front of them, and it's all Freddy and Maxie- Wait. And it's all Freddy and Maxie can do to not shout. It's the ghost. The ethereal hound seems friendly, though, and gestures at the crate. Then at the old man. Freddy nods, knowing what to do. Dress Maxie as a ghost with a tablecloth. Use the wood glue to trap the old man. Hmm. Use the wood glue to trap the old man. Freddy spreads the glue on the floor of the lookout behind the old man, who is busy watching for something out at sea. It dries quickly. Maxie nuzzles the ghostly dog who drifts through the old man. The sensation surprises him and he yelps and stumbles backwards right into the glue. He sticks and falls. Maxie growls at him and takes the man's hair in his mouth. Okay, as Freddy approaches, he's about to question the man when Maxie tugs on his hair and a mask pulls off his face, revealing the swirly expression of a much younger man with blonde hair. Wait, what? This is very interesting, you guys. Never done this in The Sims before, and I am quite- Ooh, ooh, ooh! Freddy looks- This is so much reading, I'm sorry. Freddy looks at the young man and suddenly recognizes him. You're Charlie Crab Cakes, he shouts. Heir to the Crab Cakes fortune. Yes, spits Charlie, though not much of a fortune after the Brindleton wreck where my dad's ship lost a year's supply of crabs. All because of that stupid Mr. Friendly and his sick dog. The ghost dog looks in, in, indignant and floats a few paces away. I was going to turn the lighthouse off, make the big fish shipment crash, and Brindleton Bay was sure to give crabs another chance, and I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't have been for these two meddling dogs. But why the mask? 
Charlie wrenches himself away from Maxie, ditches his shoes, and hops to the edge of the lighthouse. I've got tons of masks. And I'll get my revenge, you'll see. He jumps and Freddy gasps, but Charlie spreads his arms and he has some kind of glider jacket that catches the wind. And he disappears into the darkness of the water below. It's not really an answer and Freddy is still confused, but it seems that they've done their good deed for the moment and made a new ghostly friend. The ghost dog licks Freddy's face, which for the record feels super weird, but also comforting. Then disappears down into the heart of the lighthouse. Freddy and Maxie head home, content. How cute is that? I don't know why, but that just like, that's that was really, really adorable. It's new stuff in The Sims that I just love. Oh my gosh, you can name the gnomes? How did I not know that? Money tree guard. No, 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 no. Guard of the money tree. Sounds way more sick. Oh, look at these moodlets. Oh my gosh. Case closed from going on adventure. Feeling the love, receiving pet affection. Aw, how adorable. Uh, Marcus Flex? Oh no, rest in peace, Marcus. It's officially Teddy's birthday. So we gonna end this episode with a toddler makeover. So Tony, please wake up. Come down here and age up your baby. Oh my goodness. Yay. Yay. I'm so happy. Okay, Teddy, what are you gonna be? Wild, huh? Okie dokie, let's have a look at Miss Teddy! Oh my. She's not the cutest thing ever. She's got like quite a big mouth. Where'd you get the big mouth from? You don't really look like anyone as of yet. You got green eyes, does that make sense? Freddy's got blue eyes. Oh yeah, Tony! She's got these eyes. Oh, awesome! Awesome, awesome. You got your mama's eyes. Love that for you. I'm super tempted to make this child a ginger as well. I don't think Tony's hair is naturally that color though. Freddy's definitely is, but not hers. So you guys are gonna have to let me know. Should we make this child a ginger or no? All right, guys, here is Teddy all done. You guys are gonna have to let me know. Oh, her brow color changed. Nah, nah, it was like this. You guys are gonna have to let me know um, if we should keep her a little ginger babes or if she should have like dark brown hair. I can show you guys a dark brown swatch right now, actually, just so you can see. So she can have like dark brown hair, which is a, probably Tony's hair color or black, either one, I don't know. I really, really like this though. I think it looks really, really cute. And I, this outfit is from Eco Lifestyle, or this top is. Um, I thought it was adorable, so we might as well use it. And then the bottoms are CC by Onyx. And then she just got little light blue socks and white shoes from The Sims. And there you have it! Here is their child! I think she's absolutely adorable, 100%. With uh, the right hair and all the CC. <laughs> Had to throw a hat on for old time's sake. But all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode right here. Please let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.